Hello, this is Fred Lears of Health Products Distributors and another Creating Health Naturally video. And today we are talking about our multivitamins, Health Products Distributors multivitamins, and what makes them different, what makes them unique, um, and how they compare to other multivitamins and how they compare to each other. So um, the multivitamins that we have are three and they are therapeutic multivitamins, all of them. So what you typically find in, even in health food stores is often not therapeutic level quality or uh, therapeutic level period. What you'll typically find is things that you look at the label and you see it's 100% of the US recommended daily value or DV um, and it won't stray too much in some cases it, it'll go a little bit above that but typically even most major brands just sort of stick with what I would call low potency um, multivitamins and that's not what we need we need therapeutic quality high potency multivitamins for optimal effects the uh, the daily values were based on um, the uh, amount of a nutrient that would keep a rat alive um, more or less and um, so the 100% of the daily values are just basically um, not enough. It's kind of a low potency. So we have the, I'll introduce them, we have the um, the multi two caps in the health products distributors label. This is uh, our our sort of one of our one of our wonderful multivitamins and then we have the Hank and Brian's. Um, this is also one of our labels. It's just the Hank uh, and Brian's label. Uh, I take this one mostly. Um, and the third multivitamin we carry is the Kids Chewable, which can also be chewed, uh, chewed by adults. <laughs> this is the Kids Chewable Mighty Multi. And um, so they're actually quite similar, but there are some significant and unique differences that make the products uh, work differently for different people and, and have different reasons for taking them. So the short version is that the multi two caps have um, larger quantities of B vitamins. Um, and so the uh, multi two cap is ideal for say athletes or for people under stress. Um, blood type O's seem to do very well on the uh, on multi two caps. It's anytime you would have a greater need for B vitamins. Um, now the, the Hank and Brian's Mighty Multivite has some more unique types of ingredients in it, um, in terms of antioxidants and in terms of, um, kind of some unique, uh, plant-based ingredients like broccoli sprouts powder and, um, octocalcinol. And I'll get into that a little later, but, um, I really like that and I take a separate B vitamin, comp B complex vitamin anyway. So I really, really love the Hank and Brian's. And the kids, uh, Chewable is based on the Hank and Brian's. So it has some of those kind of fancier antioxidant plant-based ingredients that you find in the Hank and Brian's Mighty Multivite. Now, just to give you a sense of the numbers of ingredients in each of these formulas. The multi two caps has 31 ingredients. Um, that would be about um, 11 minerals, 16 vitamins, and then four other ingredients. So um, the other ingredients including um, octocosanol and um, quercetin and betaine uh, hydrochloride and um, some grape extract. And that's this formula here, the multi two caps. So this is really our most basic formula in some ways. But when I say basic, I don't mean low potency or low quality or low anything. It just has um, slightly fewer ingredients in it. But remember, it also has the higher levels of B vitamins, which I'm going to talk about in a bit. Now the the Hank and Brian's in the yellow label that has um, 35 ingredients and they're substantially similar to the ingredients in the multi two caps except um, there are more 
um, specialized ingredients like cysteine and um, turmeric and um, broccoli sprouts powder and um, octocosinol um, and lycopene and lutein. And so um, it's just a little more antioxidants. And I like that. And that's what mostly what I take. And um, similarly, the Kids Chewable is basically based on the Hank and Brian's Mighty Multivite. And it also includes a couple other specialized ingredients. It being a chewable, um, it has some fructo oligosaccharides. And we also put some taurine in it, which is really important for eye development in kids. So it's a kid's multivitamin. So it makes sense that we would put um, some taurine in it. In other words, make this uh, a little bit more geared toward uh, children and youth who are growing and developing. So those are the basic differences. Um, and as a result, the, uh, the, kids, the kids chewable has 37 ingredients. And like I said, the, um, the Hank and Brian's Mighty Multi has 35 ingredients. And um, we also include um, a whole bunch of minerals in these products. And I'm going to cover that in, in greater depth later. But I wanted to add beyond the basic minerals like, say, copper and zinc and um, calcium and chromium. We put, some, we put some minerals that are not, um, that do not have daily values, that that the government doesn't recognize as, as, as being something that, that is essential. Um, so for example, we put in um, boron and we put vanadium. Uh, these are very critical um, minerals uh, for health and they do really important things in the body. So we're not just letting you know that we're not just sticking with, with minerals the government says are important to have, but we're, we're putting in minerals that we know are important for human health. So I want to talk about the multi two caps right now, and um, so needless to say, it's a capsule form. Um, let me show you the product again. It's just a, a very standard sized capsule. Um, so you take four capsules a day. Typically, I'll take two with my breakfast, and I'll take two with my dinner or a uh, late afternoon snack. And um, if I'm taking the multi two caps and um, then you're done. And same actually with the uh, Hank and Brian's, it's just a, it's a, a four per day dosing. And um, these are vegetarian capsules. That is to say, there's no animal products in the capsules. Um, and the capsule form is very readily assimilable. So we've, we carried um, for many years uh, multi two tablets, which we no longer, we no longer make. Um, and they were great. But we, we have found is the capsule form, it breaks open, it goes in. In other words, once you swallow it, it's, it's very short period of time before it's open and, and, and released and you start getting the the benefits um, right away of the uh, of, of the multivitamin. So um, that's why we prefer and we recommend capsule forms. So um, each of these uh, products, and then right now I'm referring specifically to the multi two is pure, um, ultra high purity. We really work hard for that. It's complete. It's biochemically formulated by my father, Dr. Hank Lears. So it provides vitamins, minerals, and cofactors. Um, dissolves readily, it's highly bioavailable. Um, all ingredients are sourced for purity and carefully selected to avoid common food allergens and common allergens in general. So no soy, no corn, no wheat. Um, the full list is available on our website and on the bottle of things it does not contain. Uh, and you'd be surprised what products out there do contain. We design these formulas so that even chemically sensitive people can take them. This has been one of the things we've done for many, many years. And people who are sensitive appreciate the fact that we work really hard to keep uh, common food allergens um, out of our nutritional supplements. So the multi two caps are really probably our most popular multivitamin. Very advanced design and also exceptional value for the price. 
The nice thing also about the capsule form, to come back to it, is that it's easy, easy to open. So like, if you don't like to swallow capsules, you can put it in a smoothie. Um, you can pour it over food. Um, you know, you can put it on your pet food, uh, your pet's food. You could, there's a lot of different ways that it could be utilized other than just swallowing the, the capsule. Whereas in a tablet form, you really just can't do that. Um, also, I might add that multivitamins, all of our multivitamins, um, are the basis for our foundational supplements program. So we have a foundational supplements program. It consists of basically four supplements, and that's a multivitamin, which really should be the very first supplement that you take, a vitamin C slash antioxidant formula, like our Pro-C. Um, then the third one will be the, uh, the essential fats product, um, essential fats plus E in our, in our label. Um, because essential fatty acids are critical for health, they're critical for uh, cellular health, they build cell membranes, they help the brain, they help mood. They're just really highly involved in um, cellular function and they're essential fats. That's why they're called essential fats, because they're essential. And if you're not getting enough, and most people do not, then you need to have a supplement. And um, that's why we created Essential Fats Plus E. And then our fourth foundational supplement is a uh, Rejuvenate Superfood. Now, um, you know, we, we sort of tack that on there. You really for definitely need to have a multivitamin, essential fats, and vitamin C, antioxidant formula. The, uh, the reason that we you put the Rejuvenate Superfoods um, into the foundational supplements program is because it contains dietary nucleic acids, which my father has uh, designed these superfoods to provide. And we have just through our own research um, come to conclude that a, a dietary nucleic acids or dietary RNA is an essential nutrient. And we learned this from reading the works of Dr. Benjamin S. Frank, uh, MD, PhD. And he was a molecular biologist that did a lot of experiments with dietary RNA which you can read all about on our website. And um, he really came to the conclusion that nucleic acids were essential nutrients for health, just like vitamins and minerals. And we agree with him, even though people don't really know much about dietary nucleic acids, um, we do. And so we've created a whole line of these rejuvenate superfoods to provide, to be a vehicle for uh, dietary nucleic acids, but a whole lot more too. Um, because in a sense, our rejuvenate superfoods are, they do contain a built-in multivitamin. So you could look at our, our rejuvenate superfoods as our fourth multivitamin because they contain a complete, um, subformula, a complete multivitamin subformula inside of them so that, that you could, if you had to just take the rejuvenate superfood and that could be your multivitamin. But I prefer to take my multivitamin and my rejuvenate superfood, and then you really you really get some ultra high quality nutrition and ultra high potency um, um, multivitamins into you. So uh, that's our foundational supplements. And the reason I discuss that right now is because um, even though people might say, "Well, all I really need to just just tell me what multivitamin to take," and I would I can do that, and I'm doing that right now, but when you combine the multivitamin with the essential fats and with the vitamin C antioxidant formulas, you're now beginning to get a com true complete foundation that is the basis for uh, getting all the nutrients that you need for good health based on science. So um, that's why I felt the need to at least just discuss our system a little bit um, before I continue to talk about um, the multivitamins. Now, um, I wanted to talk also some about some of the other benefits that you're gonna be able to get from these multivitamins. Um, you are going to get uh, rapid and effective assimilation because the, the forms of the vitamins and the forms of the mineral carriers that Hank has put into these formulas um, are designed to be easily recognized and assimilated by the body. So 
uh, rapidly assimilated um, and using uh, carriers that the body recognizes and using multiple carriers to ensure an assimilation. So different people have different body chemistries and um, will use multiple carriers that give the body choices as to which form it's going to take in best. Most people's bodies will probably take in multiple forms, but we still provide choices to the body um, so that the body can then make choices as to what it wants to assimilate first or fastest. And in, in the long run, you end up just getting whatever you need as fast as you need it, as fast as your body is capable of assimilating it. And so we are taking in biochemical individuality uh, into consideration, which um, can be very important because we're not all built the same. Um, another major benefit that you will get from taking these multivitamins is energy. They are powerfully energizing. Um, and it's a great way to start your day. Uh, you know, you have some food and take your multivitamin and it makes a huge difference in your energy levels. Um, one of the main components in all of these multivitamins that we offer is uh, the B vitamin component. In, we include the coenzyme forms um, in in these uh, multivitamins of the B vitamins, the coenzyme B vitamins. Um, we also use Krebs cycle bionutrients. So these are uh, nutrient forms that can enter the energy production cycle of the body, which is also known as the Krebs cycle or the ATP cycle. So we're providing forms that the, not that are just easily assimilated, but that can go right into the energy production system immediately and start being used by the body to actually create energy because it's going into the cycle that your body is using to make energy anyway. Um, and your body will know, be like, oh, I need that. Oh, I need that. Um, so, uh, so this is truly full spectrum essential nutrients required for building, supporting, and maintaining excellent health. Our multivitamins are among the most pure available in the industry. They are carefully designed to um, exclude common allergens and as well as exclude or minimize uh, excipients, additives, and fillers. So um, many multivitamins are using fillers or binders and additives, and we minimize those, and the ones we use tend to be inert. On top of this, how we source the actual ingredients, we make sure to source um, only the highest purity ingredients that are USP grade, United States Pharmacopeia, um, we have a C of A's, certificates of analysis for almost all the ingredients. And we are diligent about making sure that each of the ingredients in the supplement conform to um, the highest standards of purity. Now, I want to talk about one of the things that makes our multi two caps special, um, as well as our Hank and Brian's and um, our kids' vitamins. Um, and that is the B vitamins. We are a bit unique in that we have always, um, provided coenzyme B vitamins in our, uh, multivitamins. And we're also a bit unique in the, uh, in the amounts that we provide. That is to say, we provide therapeutic levels of the B vitamin complex. And um, I don't know if I can emphasize this enough because people just don't get enough B vitamins. B vitamins are critical for health. They're critical for the body's energy production. Um, they're critical for dealing with stress. Um, they're critical for just supporting um, the body's needs, um, especially in modern life. And People just don't get enough. So um, Multi-2 Caps provides a full spectrum of the B-complex vitamins, mostly in coenzyme forms, um, as well as some conventional forms. Um, and the multivitamin includes uh, B vi uh, vitamin B1 as thiamine hydrochloride, 
um, and vitamin B2 as riboflavin and riboflavin 5-phosphate. It includes vitamin B3 as niacin and niacinamide, um, vitamin B6 as uh, pyridoxine HCL and pyridoxal 5-phosphate, the coenzyme form. Um, it provides folate as the L5-MTHF calcium, which is the proper form of folate that you want. It's the coenzyme form. It's the L-methyl tetrahydrofolate. Um, and this is actually real folate. It's not folic acid, as you'll typically find in most multivitamins and uh, enriched products. Uh, folic acid is synthetic. Many people don't realize that. Even the government sometimes doesn't seem to realize that. They they base the, uh, the daily recommended value on folic acid, or at least they have. We provide the, the, uh, the, the methyl tetrahydrofolate form that your body recognizes and can go right in. And um, otherwise, your body is wasting a lot of metabolic machinery converting um, synthetic forms some of which can't be so easily converted um, and can be toxic. So um, we also include vitamin B12 as methylcobalamin. That's the coenzyme form. That's the form that we've used for many, many, many years. And only now in recent years have uh, many competitor products begun um, using the methylcobalamin. You'll see that. I see that now. Um, and we also include biotin. So that's a, one of the lesser, uh, lesser known um, B vitamins, but we include it. So just to give you an idea of the levels of B vitamins that you'll get in multi-tube caps, which is the multivitamin that provides the most B vitamins among our three multivitamins. Um, so for example, you will, of thiamine, vitamin B1, you'll get a full 50 milligrams per serving, which is 4,167% of the, of the daily value. And you might ask yourself, well, why do I need that much more of the daily value? Well, you have to ask yourself, do you want to get the amount equivalent to keep a rat healthy? You want to be a lab rat? <laughs> so scientific studies have shown that you, you just have much greater needs if you want to have optimal health, if you want to have optimal levels of these nutrients. Um, and so we provide the levels at which you can begin experiencing optimal health and you can get the amounts that will, will satisfy uh, your body's needs. Now, just remember, everyone is different. Everyone has their own unique biochemical individuality and has slightly different needs. But suffice it to say that in general, we all have far greater needs in modern life than to get just a minimum basic level for survival. Um, just because we, we live active lives, we lead busy lives, we sometimes lead stressful lives. You know, and especially if you're an athlete, you're leading a physically stressful life. Um, and if you're not an athlete, but you'll work out or you know, you're active in general, you're kind of probably putting yourself under those same um, requirements. And that's what we're here to provide. So um, for niacin, we provide um, 75 milligrams of, of niacin in the forms of um, niacinamide at 70% and 30% is niacin, giving you 469% of the daily value. But to go back to um, vitamin B1, uh, um, that is thiamine HCL. Um, but for vitamin B2, which is riboflavin, uh, you will get 50 milligrams of vitamin B2 as riboflavin, and um, you will get 3,846% of the daily value. Um, and that will be broken up into 70% uh, as riboflavin, which is the conventional form, and 30%, which will be your riboflavin 5-phosphate, which is the coenzyme form. And just so you know, 30% uh, that 30% may seem like, well, why don't you make it 100%? But you remember, you're getting 3,846% of the daily value, of which 30% is the coenzyme form, riboflavin 5-phosphate. So you're getting a very good amount of uh, 
of coenzyme form vitamin, which is the form that just goes right in. But we still provide the other form to the body so the body can make choices about how it wants to use the B vitamins. Now on vitamin B6, uh, 80% is pyridoxine HCL and 20% is pyridoxal 5-phosphate, the coenzyme form, and you get 100 milligrams per serving, which is 5,882% of the daily value. You beginning to get the picture here? You get high amounts of the B vitamin and then a mixture of percentages of the conventional form and the coenzyme form, but either way, you're getting a lot of it from in both forms. And just recall that the coenzyme form is recognized by the body immediately and is utilized by the body immediately, or it can be used by the body immediately, meaning there's no conversion time. So um, this is why the product is so energizing because these B vitamins can just be like rapidly assimilated and brought into the energy production cycle, just like that. And you will feel the results um, or you could feel the results. I feel the results. Um, and so that's how I know it, it works so well and it probably would work well for most people. Um, and then um, as far as folate goes, um, there are 1,020 micrograms, which is 255% of the daily value, and in the form of L5-methyl tetrahydrofolate. And I talked about that a little bit. This is, this is all coenzyme form. Um, and so um, this is a critical nutrient that the body might otherwise have to convert. But um, folate is absolutely essential, and you won't need to convert it. And... Um, Vitamin B12 as methylcobalamin, 400 uh, micrograms at 16,667% of the daily value, all as Cohen's 100% coenzyme form. Now, the studies are just very clear on this, that the uh, B12 is essential, and you're going to be getting the form the body recognizes. So, like, we are not messing around with B vitamins here. You're going to get what you need and it's going to go right in and it's going to help you be healthier and it's going to help you be able to support that health and it's going to be giving you the nutrient, the B vitamins that you need um, to thrive, not just survive. Um, then we also have the 500 micrograms of biotin, which is 1,667% of the daily value of biotin. And then we also have um, 100 milligrams of pantothenic acid, which is from calcium pantothenate, which is 2,000% of the daily value. And uh, that is vitamin B5. Vitamin B5 is uh, critical for many different functions in the body. Um, it's also known to be a stress reducer, meaning it's, it, it's, it's highly effective under stressful conditions. Now, I wanted to add as I wrap up this discussion of the B vitamin section, that all these B vitamins work together. So we've carefully considered the amounts in relation to one another. Um, and the Krebs cycle, which is the energy production cycle, um, utilizes all of them. And therefore, um, it, is, it is a system. It is a synergy. So by, by giving you the well-balanced and comprehensive B complex across the board, um, you will know that you're going to be getting what you need and your body has choices as to the carriers and forms. Uh, and your body also will rapidly assimilate these nutrients um, and will not need to spend a lot of metabolic machinery and time converting them. So this makes our multivitamins, and I'm particularly referring to the multi-2 caps here, but all of them, highly effective from the perspective of providing the B-complex um, vitamins. Now, I'd like to add regarding the B vitamins one more uh, thing, and that is that the B vitamins are water-soluble. And so um, they're pretty much the only uh, water-soluble vitamins that we have in the, in the multi-2 caps, um, except for vitamin C, which I'll talk about in a minute. But in, in either case, um, that is one reason why it is good to divide your doses up because the water, soluble the water soluble vitamins have a tendency to be, they go through your body. They don't get stored much 
And so it's better to take multiple doses a day, say two capsules in the morning and two capsules uh, in, the, in the afternoon or evening. So as opposed to just taking them all at once. And this way you're spreading out um, your water soluble vitamin intake to keep your levels up. So um, that is uh, a design consideration. And that is a consideration for individuals who are taking these multivitamins, just to make sure that you're taking them in divided doses if possible, um, so that um, you keep replenishing those uh, water-soluble vitamins um, in your body. Um, now, the other water-soluble vitamin that we have in the multi-tube caps is vitamin C. Um, now, in our foundational supplements program, you should already be taking um, a vitamin C antioxidant formula, which I do, and we have a handful of those. We have a, a Pro-C, uh, we have Ultimate Protector, we have a buffered vitamin C uh, powder and buffered vitamin C tablets. Um, you know, we've got like at least four different types of vitamin C for you to take standalone or as part of the foundationals. Um, but we do include um, 275 milligrams of vitamin C in the multi two caps, which is 306% of your daily value. Now, of course, the daily values, again, for vitamin C, uh, the government daily values are very low. So, um, we put in what I would regard as sort of a, a more of a therapeutic, uh, a much higher level of the vitamin C in terms of milligrams. Uh, but but you're going to want more. You're going to want to have more vitamin C somewhere along the lines uh, in your day. Uh, that's why I take um, probably at least six Pro-C a day. Um, if I'm taking Ultimate Protector, I'll have at least six Ultimate Protector. It'll just depend on the day. But regardless, I'm getting a minimum of a couple of grams, um, several thousand milligrams or more every day of vitamin C separately from my multivitamin. And this is really for um, optimal vitamin C intake, and especially, say, in the winter during cold and flu season. Um, but everyone's needs are going to be a little different. Everyone's stress levels are going to be different, and everyone has different immune systems. But you're still going to want to have at least a couple of grams of vitamin C um, separately. However, we still put in an amount of vitamin C um, into the multi, into our multivitamins. And in this case, it's 275 milligrams because first of all, vitamin C interacts with everything else. Um, and it helps, you know, it's an, it's another antioxidant that's going to work together with everything else in the multivitamin to help keep you healthy. Um, also, if for some reason you, that's all you were taking, and you know, we can't assume people are going to be taking a, a vitamin C formula separately, even though we, we recommend it. There needs, so that as a consequence of that, there needs to be some minimal level, some good minimal level, uh, definitely higher than the daily value of vitamin C in the product. And so that's why it's in there. Um, so, and like the B vitamins, this is another reason to take your uh, multivitamin in divided doses because vitamin C is water soluble. And so if you're having two capsules in the morning and two capsules in the afternoon or evening, again, you're distributing that vitamin C and the B vitamins, of course, um, in a way which is more conducive to maintaining levels in the body. Um, so that's just a little tip for, uh, for dosing um, your water soluble vitamins. So now I would like to talk about the full complement of fat soluble vitamins that are in the multi two caps. Um, so we have really all of the most absorbable and usable forms of the fat soluble vitamin group, which includes vitamin A as natural beta carotene. It includes vitamin E uh, as D alpha tocopherol succinate and as mixed tocopherols, again, giving the body choices. It includes vitamin D as cholecalciferol, as well as two forms of vitamin K, vitamin K1 as phytonidione and vitamin K2 as menaquinone 7. Really uh, great forms of vitamin K. And so the, uh, the A, the E, uh, the D3, and two forms of K are 
the fat soluble fat soluble group that we have uh, in our multivitamin. Now the vitamin A we give you uh, three thousand micrograms, which is three hundred and thirty three percent of the daily value, and we do that as natural beta carotene. So um, you know it's ten thousand IU. You're not going to be getting too much vitamin A because the, again this is the pro vitamin A beta carotene form, which is also an antioxidant. Um, and then as far as the, uh, as far as vitamin D, uh, vitamin E goes, you will be getting 134 milligrams, which is 893% of the daily value. Um, and that is in two different forms, again, giving the body choices. And again, vitamin E is just one of those critical fat soluble vitamins that we all need and don't get enough of, generally speaking. And we're giving you a decent amount of it. Um, as far as vitamin D3 goes, uh, we're giving you um, 20 micrograms, which is 100% of the daily value. Again, it's not a lot, uh, but it is the proper form. Vitamin D3 is the form that the body makes. Vitamin D3 is the form that has the most benefits. It's the natural form. Um, and uh, just as a side note, we have a standalone vitamin D3 product that provides 5,000 IU, which is a lot more and which is more in line with what people need on a daily basis, especially in the winter, depending, of course, upon biochemical individuality. And I take that separate standalone 5,000 IU vitamin D3 product most of the year, multiple times a week, in the winter, perhaps daily. But again, sort of like our design philosophy for including the vitamin C in this product, um, assuming that someone is not taking a standalone uh, vitamin D3 product, we want to provide some due to the importance of vitamin D3. And no multivitamin would really be complete without it. Um, but you'll find plenty of multivitamins that have no D, vitamin D in them at all, much less vitamin D3. Um, but ours does. And so you can, it's a little like a little insurance policy. You're getting, you're getting some level, um, some minimal level, but it's, you know, not insignificant. It's still a 20 micrograms that your body can utilize and will help keep you healthy and strong and, and support good health and work together with all the other vitamins and minerals in the product. Now we have two forms of vitamin K. Uh, we provide, um, uh, 500 micrograms of the uh, vitamin K1 phytonidione and 10 micrograms of the vitamin K2 is menaquinone 7. And again, we're giving the body choices. Uh, we really like uh, the vitamin K2 uh, for a lot of different reasons. It's, it's a whole other discussion. Um, but again, they're a little different from each other and each provides slightly different benefits. And so you're going to be getting, um, you know, 417% of the daily value of, in, of vitamin K as K1 and 8% um, um, as vitamin K2. And together, you know, you're getting, a, you're getting a spectrum of vitamin K, which is going to be providing a lot of different benefits for the body that you're going to need. And that it's not really so easy to get as much vitamin K2 as you need. It's been proven, just like it's not easy to get high, uh, sufficient levels of vitamin D3. Multi two caps provides that for you, and so it's a great multivitamin from the perspective of the fat soluble vitamins. The next major category in the ingredients provided by multi two caps are minerals. Now, really, this is a very comprehensive supplement as it provides all of the known essential minerals in forms that are readily absorbed and recognized by the body, um, and these minerals include. Calcium, magnesium, potassium, zinc, manganese, boron, copper, chromium, molybdenum, vanadium, and selenium. And um, now, one of the things that makes the multi two cap so special is the forms in which these minerals uh, come in. That is, the carriers, the mineral carriers that bring the mineral into the cell, bring it into your body and let your body, body recognize and utilize it. And so uh, we are very careful in making sure that we provide mineral carriers that are going to work effectively. And these include ascorbates, 
um, Krebs cycle bionutrients and amino acid forms providing the body with metabolic substrates that include um, citrate, malate, glycinate, aspartate, sebicate forms. Um, and so those are the primary forms we choose to use rather than say elemental forms, um, you know, or, or, or kind of cheap forms that are often found in cheap vitamins that you might find at, I don't know, Walmart. <laughs> uh, so, um, I'm going to run down these, uh, these minerals now. So, uh, calcium, there are, uh, 50 milligrams of calcium in the form of calcium citrate and ascorbate, citrate being the Krebs cycle form that your body can just utilize, go right into that energy producing Krebs cycle. Um, and that's, that's only 4% of your daily value. We carry separate standalone bone formulas and joint formulas and, you know, the bone formulas in particular, like bone jure, um, are designed to provide much higher levels of calcium. Um, but you need some basic level of calcium and it's great when your multivitamin can provide it. Um, you know, you're going to be getting most of your calcium from your diet anyway, but again, it's a question of balance. It's a question of, um, of balancing the minerals because if you have too much of one type of mineral, it can block the uptake and assimilation of another. I'll talk about that um, in a slightly more depth in, in a little bit. Now, um, now the, uh, the uh, magnesium, we provide a full 100 milligrams of magnesium, which is 24% of the daily value. Um, and that is from magnesium malate and ascorbate. And again, that, that malate form is a Krebs cycle form. It's recognized by the body. It's going to go in and start helping you produce energy. Um, and, um, you know, 100 milligrams of magnesium doesn't sound like a lot. And in fact, given that the daily values are just so low, you know, 24% of the daily value, a quarter of your daily value from one little multivitamin, not really. The body needs a lot more magnesium and our diets these days aren't providing it. And a lot of the magnesium supplements aren't really in the best forms. You're going to be getting, as I mentioned, the, a really, really great form in, in that magnesium malate that's going to be able to, to really uh, be absorbed well. And you're going to get it in ascorbate form, which the body will also recognize, even though it's not a Krebs cycle form. Um, and again, we have standalone magnesium formulas like Myomag. That's our really great one that will provide much higher levels um, of magnesium. But again, this is a multivitamin. There's only so much room. And to get a full 100%, uh, excuse me, get a full 24% of your daily value from, uh, from, from four little multivitamins. Um, but again, it's a question of balance. Again, you need to have certain ratios of calcium to magnesium. And this has been very, very well thought through um, by the formulator. And so here you're getting essentially a two to one ratio of magnesium to calcium, which is fantastic. Most people in their diets are getting ratios of calcium to magnesium that heavily favor the calcium and denigrate the magnesium. We're giving you at least a two to one ratio of magnesium to calcium, which will help, which will help address that balance because um, you need magnesium to absorb calcium. See how this works? Um, and you need a multiple of magnesium compared to calcium for optimal absorption. So um, if your diet's already skewing you away from magnesium and toward calcium, um, a multivitamin like multi-two-caps can begin to redress that um, all by itself, even though we think that maybe you might benefit from, say, a Myomag formula, which will give you a lot more magnesium to help balance out your calcium. And even our bone formulas provide significant levels of magnesium. So, um, but from a multivitamin perspective and from a foundational supplements perspective, this is a really great start on getting the proper ratios and forms of magnesium that will begin to help support optimal nutrition and ideal health. Um, Moving on to, uh, to zinc, we provide uh, 25 milligrams of zinc, which is 227% of the daily value of zinc. And that comes in the form of citrate, picolinate, and ascorbate. You're getting three different uh, zinc forms. Again, that zinc citrate is going to be uh, going into that uh, Krebs cycle 
and and powering up that uh those that uh those, those energy production cycles and the picolinate and ascorbate are also very well recognized forms and proven forms i might add in terms of getting zinc into the body also providing multiple forms so that the body uh, is given choices um so you're get you're getting three highly assemblable forms that the body can also choose from so like you know um what more can you ask for from your from from your multivitamin in terms of minerals and i wanted to add here before i even get through the the, the all the minerals is that minerals are critical for enzyme function so there's all these hundreds of enzyme systems in your body and maybe even thousands of en enzymes and many many of those enzymes are requiring magnesium are requiring zinc particularly and some of the other minerals and so this is why we include a, a, a decent amount of these minerals and in the forms that the body can recognize because the body's going to be using them to create these uh, to help support these enzyme systems, uh, which are utilized throughout the body for uh, hundreds of different uh, reasons, because those enzymes or enzyme systems are working all the time to do all different kinds of things to keep you healthy and to keep you alive and to uh, make sure that the uh, metabolic machinery is running smoothly. Um, so I will now move on to selenium. So selenium we provide in the form of L-selenomethionine, a very highly recognized form. This is, an, uh, this is a really great uh, form to have. It's 75 micrograms, which is 136% of the daily value. Selenium is one of these really uh, important minerals for immunity um, and for lots of other different functions in the body. And it's something we don't really get a lot of. There's a lot of uh, soils that are in the country that are deficient. So people aren't always getting what they need in terms of selenium. And there are two milligrams of copper, which is a full 222% of the daily value. Um, and from copper citrate and copper sebicate, again, that citrate form getting, you know, getting into that Krebs cycle and the sebicate form highly, highly recognized by the body. Two milligrams doesn't sound like a lot, but you don't need a lot of copper. Copper is just one of those things you don't need much of. However, you do need some copper. Copper, um, copper is an is an as an agonist with zinc. So when zinc levels are too high, copper can't be absorbed properly, and it works the other way as well. And so the point here is is that a lot of vitamins will just not include any copper. Uh, you know, it, it, it's. Uh, it's claimed that it's an oxidant and that it, 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 it's not healthy for you. The problem is, is that when you people get a bunch of zinc and don't get any copper, then things get out of balance. So a, a mere two milligrams of copper, which is a very small amount, will balance off, say, the 25 milligrams of zinc or more that you might be getting, depending on what other supplements you're taking. And in this way, there's a balance and that um, the zinc will be absorbed due to the copper and the copper will be absorbed due to the zinc. That is to say, there won't be there won't be any blocking going on, and this is really critical from a mineral balance standpoint. And then we have a few other little uh, minerals like manganese, uh, which is is two milligrams. It's um, eighty seven percent of the daily value from manganese citrate. Um, chromium, two hundred micrograms or five hundred and seventy one percent of the daily value. Um, from chromium polynicotinate, another really great form. Chromium is a really important mineral from a lot of different perspectives. It's also known to be a blood sugar uh, mineral. It helps with uh, blood sugar. Uh, molybdenum from molybdenum citrate at 150 micrograms or 333% of the daily value. And last but hardly least, potassium, uh, 99 milligrams of potassium, 2% of the daily value from potassium citrate. Potassium is absolutely critical. Uh, we're not providing massive quantities here. Potassium is something you should be getting from your diet, but people generally don't get enough. Again, it's a matter of ratios. You really want to have quite a bit of potassium in your body. Potassium helps keep you alkaline. Um, potassium needs to be balanced out with other, with other minerals, and it's often not. It's overlooked. But potassium um, is just one of those things you have to have, and so we provide some amount in here in the multi-two caps um, for completeness and balance. 
And I wanted to add regarding potassium, and that is uh, we really we're not allowed to put much more in. We really the, the, the government limits how much potassium we can put into the supplement uh, for various reasons. So we'd love to put more in and we would, but um, we put as much as we can in. So you're getting as much as uh, we are legally allowed to give you. <laughs> for all these reasons, um, these are minerals that are, um, need to be kept in balance and which are required for health. And we provide them with the proper carriers in the proper forms and in decent amounts, making the multi two cap an extraordinarily well balanced formula. Um, now, uh, we provide a couple of different minerals that are, say, not considered essential, um, but maybe we consider them essential. But there, 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 um, there are a couple of more uh, lesser known minerals, and these are, um, these are boron and vanadium. Now, um, Boron, we provide um, two milligrams and the forms of glycinate, citrate, and aspartate. So it's a mixture, but it totals two milligrams. Now, boron doesn't have a daily value, but boron is really critical for bone health. Uh, it works together with calcium um, and, um, and other minerals uh, to build strong bones. Um, and so um, we put it in at small levels, because that's all, it's only needed at small levels. But that, those small levels, it's been proven in study after study, just those small amounts of boron added to the, added to the mineral mix can significantly strengthen bones. And that's, and that's why we do that. And a lot of supplements don't. I would dare say most do not. Um, and now vanadium um, also doesn't have a daily value. We put a hundred micrograms in multi two caps in a, in a daily dose. And that's from bisoxoglycinato vanadium, or BOGV. But suffice it to say that as an exceptionally good form uh, for assimilation. And vanadium is, is well known for blood sugar issues. So just as we put in chromium, and that is known for to help blood sugar issues, vanadium has a similar, uh, well, it helps with blood sugar. And so we wouldn't, it really, you know, wouldn't be complete in our minds without having a small amount of vanadium um, to help with uh, that and, and many other functions in the body because uh, it's used for other things as well. Now, I wanted to mention regarding minerals as well, um, that we do purposefully exclude a couple of minerals that are often provided in uh, nutritional supplements, multivitamins, and that is we exclude iron and iodine um, now, in both cases, um, the inclusion of these uh, minerals can lead to excessive free radical production in the body. So, um, you know, iron can be important. And, and iodine, of course, is very important. But in a multivitamin, um, we exclude these um, due to the possibility of, um, of having an oxidant function in the supplement and in the body. And so this is something we carefully considered. So um, if you need iron, you should get it separately. And if you need iodine, as most of us do, you should, uh, you should get that separately. And we highly recommend um, the product that we carry, which is nascent iodine. Now we have a few special ingredients, um, some of which are herbal in, uh, in multi two caps. It's not as nearly as many as in the Hank and Brian's Mighty Multivite, but um, we do have some quercetin and we do have some whole grape extract um, and we have, and we have octocosinol, um, and we have betaine HCL. Um, we also have choline and inositol. So I'm going to discuss these just briefly. Um, so, um, quercetin and whole grape extract are antioxidants, um, and they're also anti-inflammatory. So this, this, this formula is hardly intended to be, uh, you know, a major antioxidant formula. We have other formulas for that. But by including some of these ingredients in here, we're sort of giving you something that's going to be a little anti-inflammatory, um, give a little bit of antioxidant function, and probably really help the other ingredients in the multivitamin work better. Um, and we also include a couple of other things. We include the um, some octocosinol, which is... Uh, known to be helpful for, uh, for brain function um, and cell membrane function. 
um, and liver function. And we also include some inositol, which kind of goes with the uh, the choline in in to, to help with those cell membrane functions, those functions I just talked about, brain function and liver function. Um, so that's sort of a little bonus you get when you have the multi two um, caps. And we include some betaine HCL to support digestive processes. So that's just some little thing for digestion and um, digestive health. And that's just a, another another little um, bonus there. The uh, you know these aren't huge amounts. It's 50 milligrams of betaine HCL, and as far as the quercetin um, goes, that's 50 milligrams of of quercetin, and uh, there's 200 milligrams of the inositol, and 500 micrograms of the of the octocosanol. Again, these are not uh, massive quantities um, of these of these nutrients. Um, but there's something, and in addition to all the other things you're getting in the multi two caps, we can, we have a little extra room. We put these in. It's it's supportive of health, um, and it's highly functional. And these are these are ingredients that ca can really actually do a lot of really great things to support health. So now I want to talk about my favorite multivitamin in our lineup, and that is the Hank and Brian's Mighty Multivite. And I'll show you the bottle here. These are capsules. Again, it's a it's a four per day dose, so you'll you'll take uh you'll take four uh, capsules daily, and ideally you divide them up into uh, say two groups of two, morning and night, um, or however you like to. But it's better to um, divide them up. Um, now the primary difference um, between the multi two caps and the Hank and Brian's Mighty Multivite is the fact that it really only has half of the B vitamins of the multi two caps. So there's 50% less approximately of the B vitamins in the, um, in the Hank and Bryant's. Now I take a standalone B complex formula that we carry called the B complex 50. It's high potency, um, uh, coenzyme form, mostly, um, B vitamins. And, um, the great thing about the multi two caps is, is that if people, if someone really needs more B vitamins, they can just take, take that multivitamin. I don't need to take, uh, I don't need as many B vitamins in general, I don't think, but I still take a standalone B. But in my multi, I just don't, uh, because I take the standalone, and so um, I really, really feel great on the Hank and Brian's Mighty Multivite. Now, so. The capsule has 50% less of the B vitamins, still high dose, still therapeutic. You're still getting therapeutic levels of the B vitamins. Um, but by including a lower level of them, even at therapeutic uh, dosing, uh, it frees up room in the capsule from, for some special ingredients. Um, so most of the difference between um, the multi two caps and the Hank and Brian is that Hank and Brian's now uses that room freed up by reduced amounts of B vitamins to include some really special herbal ingredients. Um, and these include a whole grape extract or more whole grape extract, um, turmeric, um, a really high quality 95% curcuminoid um, ingredient, um, broccoli sprouts powder. Um, and a few other little things like lycopene. And so, uh, I'll just start with the, with the whole grape extract. It's got 30 milligrams of whole grape extract from, uh, it's the VinCare brand uh, from the seed, skin, and pulp of, of grapes. And this is a powerful antioxidant. It's a connective tissue strengthener. Um, and it's a nerve two activator, and this is a whole other category. Almost all of these herbal ingredients are nerve two activators, which means uh, that they help your cells make their own antioxidants. This, the nuclei they go into the nucleus. These substances can go into the uh, nucleus of the cell and direct your cells to produce their own antioxidants. How cool is that? But these ingredients are also antioxidants of themselves. So it's like providing your body with external antioxidants that then allow your body to produce its own antioxidants. So you're getting both the exogenous antioxidants and now you're producing endogenous antioxidants 
all from your multivitamin. Now we do have a standalone Nerf 2 activator product called Ultimate Protector, and our Pro-C Vitamin C Antioxidant Formula is also a Nerf 2 activator, but the Hank and Bryant's includes some of these uh, Nerf 2 activation ingredients, which I certainly feel the difference. I definitely feel the difference from having this, uh, this, these extra plant-based ingredients. And so um, broccoli sprouts powder, you'll get 25 milligrams of broccoli sprouts powder. That's a great Nerf 2 activator. It's a great antioxidant and broccoli sprouts uh, are well known to do a lot of different things in the body. They provide sulforaphane, uh, very powerful antioxidant, does a lot of different functions in the body. Um, and uh, also uh, turmeric, 50 milligrams of the turmeric root extract at greater than 95% curcuminoids, powerful anti-inflammatory, powerful antioxidant. Now just imagine all these ingredients working together because they don't work they work individually, but when you start, they're additive, and each provides slightly different antioxidant and Nerf 2 functions. Um, lycopene, uh, it's a small amount of lycopene, three milligrams from tomato fruit extract. Lycopene, well known for a whole host of functions. Uh, tons of studies on lycopene. So um, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's not nothing. Um, so when you com start combining things like the turmeric and the broccoli sprouts, and the lycopene, um, you start getting synergistic effects, which is precisely what it's designed to do. Um, now, you'll also get um, some other little fancy ingredients. You'll get lutein, lutein that comes from the marigold flower extract. It's only, it's only one milligram. That's going to do cool things. It's going to protect the other uh, plant-based ingredient antioxidants, and it's going to add something. It's also well known to be important for eye health. So you begin to see how even in a multivitamin, um, you can add things that synergistically begin to really um, give you some significant benefits um, from the perspective of antioxidant protection, anti-inflammatory protection, um, and Nerf 2 production, allowing you to make your own, um, your own antioxidants. Um, we also include, as was also the case in the multi two caps um, we have some um, inositol which again is important for cell membranes and for um, brain function and liver function we include some um, some cysteine which uh, is the precursor for glutathione um, and again these aren't huge amounts 75 milligrams of cysteine um, we include um, some octocosanol, which kind of goes with the inositol. Uh, again, it's that's 250 micrograms. That's for brain function um, and cell membrane function. Um, we also have some vanadium, which is a, a mineral that's um, uh, I mentioned in the multi two caps. It's really important for blood sugar function, and that's also in the form of bisglycinato oxovanadium. So 100 micrograms. It's not, there's no daily value for that, but your body will utilize it, and it's, 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 a, it's, it's a really important ingredient to have. Um, and some betaine HCL for, um, that supports the digestive processes. So, um, again, to recap the Hank and Brian's, fewer B vitamins, but still in those excellent forms and still at therapeutic levels. And then all these different plant-based ingredients antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, and Nerf 2 activators, which really makes the Hank and Brian's kind of a, a real special formula. And the one I take primarily is the, is the Hank and Brian's. And it really is one of our best sellers uh, among multivitamins and among all products. So I highly recommend the multi, uh, the Mighty Multivite, but you know, I also recommend Multi 2 Caps. So you really can't go wrong with either one. And now, I want to talk about our only chewable multivitamin, our only tablet multivitamin, and that is the Kids Chewable Mighty Multi. And um, this is the product here. And it's a tablet. So uh, it's delicious. And uh, I'm going to show you the tablet. You can see it's not that big. It's pretty small. 
It's really easy to take and it chews up readily. And um, it basically contains the same ingredients as the Hank and Brian's Mighty Multivite. Um, but it's now in a chewable form. So um, now it's scales. So it's a little bit different because it's for kids. Um, you'll take one tablet for every 10 pounds of body weight. Or as it says on the label, two, two, two tablets for every 20 pounds. So, you know, an adult could actually take this, but you'd, you'd end up taking a bunch of them if you were an adult. So, uh, but it's great for kids growing up because they, you know, if they're not weighing very many pounds, they can still take, you know, a 30 pound kid, you know, will, will take three of them. And, uh, you know, a 40 pound kid will take four of them. And so the, the numbers will increase, um, you know, and now when you're, you know, now when you're 80 pounds, you'll take eight of them. And then as you begin growing beyond that, you can then transition to say something like, uh, you know, you're old enough, you'll be old enough. The child would be old enough then to switch on over to the, uh, to the, uh, to the Hank and Brian's, uh, capsules. So, you know, you just take four of those instead of, you know, chewing up 10 tablets However, I will add that some adults really swear by our kids' vitamin because they don't like swallowing capsules or tablets. So some people, a uh, minority of people, just can't or don't want to take a capsule. They don't want to swallow a pill. And so this gives them an option. Uh, you know, if you're a 120-pound adult, you could take 12, you could chew 12 of the tablets and that's equivalent uh, to four of the um, of the Hank and Brian's daily, more or less. It's scaled that way, so um, so uh, it's highly pure, just like the uh, the capsule forms. It does have some, you know, it's a tablet, so it has uh, you know it has some very simple um, uh, you know filler ingredients to keep it all bound together, like silica, um, and it's got a flavor enhancing. Um, uh, subformula or a flavor enhancing complex uh, of mannitol, uh, xylitol, uh, stevia, uh, natural fruit flavors, and some fructo oligosaccharides, which are actually healthy for you. And together, uh, you know, it doesn't just use one type of sweetener, but these are all natural sweeteners that work together to give a really nice taste. It's a really nice fruit flavor that most kids love. <laughs> and which uh, is uh, it's a really a nice blend that's not overly sweet, that uh, but tastes helps the whole product taste good with those natural fruit flavors and um, makes it really one of it. It also tends to sell out because people want to make sure they have it on hand uh, for their kids and for themselves possibly. Um, so that's really the, the only difference between the kids formula and the. Uh, and the, um, the Hank and Brian's Mighty Multivite. Um, it still has all those uh, antioxidant ingredients and herbal, herbal preparations, which really makes it a truly high potency, therapeutic, antioxidant, NERF2, uh, anti-inflammatory, you know, herbal uh, multivitamin in a tablet form, which tastes great, is easy to take, and kids love. So like, I can't really put it any simpler than that. And um, so, uh, you know, if if your kids uh, don't like swallowing capsules, then, um, then the kids chewable uh, multivitamin is probably for you.